Today we got another batch of zucchini flowers that we just picked. I've been making them into fritters pretty much all summer long. So today I'm gonna try something new. We're gonna fry them whole in a beer batter. So pretty uncommon for zucchini flowers, but I think we'll come out good. So next we're just gonna clean them, make the beer batter and then fry them. All right, let's go. Okay, since we're gonna be frying them whole, you just wanna be kind of careful when you clean them. So just take this bottom part off carefully and then the flowery part will also come out with that. And then there's these little green like spikes you can kind of just pick off. And then with very light running water, just rinse out any dirt that might be in there. Okay. All right, just gonna make the beer batter here. So in this glass, I have one cup of flour and I'm just gonna add big pinch of salt then maybe about a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix that together. Okay, and then just add the beer. You want it to be as cold as possible. And this is some sort of wheat ale. Uh, I think we're pretty sure you can, you can just use any sort of light-ish beer. But I'm gonna add maybe three-fourths of that to start. And I want the batter to be pretty thin so it doesn't overpower the flowers because the flowers are obviously pretty delicate. Switch to a whisk. Okay, gonna add a little more. Okay, so I just realized that the camera fell, but just showing you what the batter should kind of look like. So pretty thin and it should kind of just coat the back of a spoon like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we're just gonna dip the flowers in here and start frying. I got the oil heating up to 350 degrees. So just waiting on that before uh, getting started. All right guys, we're ready to start frying here. But just to test the oil, you can just take a little bit of the batter on a fork. And then once it's hot and bubbly like that, you're good to go. So let's start dropping in some of the flowers. So take a flower. Good dip in the batter. Let the excess sort of drip off. And carefully place them in. Okay, do another one. If you spread out the leaves, those are the, fl the flowers, it will sort of make it more crispy. So nice dunk in the batter. Drip off the excess. Okay. I do like three or four at a time. Okay, now it should only take like two minutes on each side probably. Just trying to get the batter lightly golden and crispy. So I'm just gonna move them around with the fork. And I can already smell like the beer right off the bat. So I think they're gonna be pretty flavorful. That's sort of what you're looking for. You don't want it to be too dark. So just lightly golden, give them a flip. All right, one more minute on the other side. All right, these ones are ready. So just gonna take them out and drain them on this paper towel. And then just a touch of salt right as they come out so it sticks. But these are gonna be Pretty crispy. All right, let's fry another batch. So just wanna reiterate one more time, just get a light coating of the batter. And now that I've done it a few rounds, you kinda of leave the bottom here uh, not covered, that's fine. Drop them in. And the more you spread out the leaves, the better it sort of comes out, or like the better it looks. Um, so yeah, light dipping of the batter, Take off the excess. In. And I think part of the reason these are coming out so good is because I'm frying them in avocado and olive oil. So this gives it another level of flavor with that. All right, move them around with your fork a little bit. But they really only take about one minute on each side. Okay. 
Not gonna lie, I already had one of the other ones from the other batch, and these are probably the best zucchini flowers I've ever made. Um, yeah, the beer batter is not overpowering, and then the squash flour gets very tender on the inside and still holds its flavor. Um, so I highly recommend making them like this. All right, just gonna show you guys one of these. It's actually kind of crazy how well you can taste the flour and didn't really expect it to go this well with the beer batter. So definitely give these a try. Very easy to make and pretty impressive if you're having guests over. All right, thanks.